Shout out to G-Man Boxing. Where's the piss bottle? It's over there. All right, people. Josh Taylor retains his undisputed super lightweight world championship. He beats Jack Cattrall. Well, no, 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 no. He gets the decision over Jack Cattrall. Can I tell you, you know, do, do you know what, right? People, a lot of my friends are UFC fans. And they always say UFC is just superior to boxing. The big fights don't get made. And you see some dodgy decisions. They are spot on. And they are spot on about a lot of things when it comes to their criticisms of boxing. And bullshit like what I've just seen right now. In Josh Taylor getting this decision. I picked Josh Taylor to win the fight. I'm a bit of a fan of Josh Taylor. But I'm not going to give him a pass on this. He did not win that fight. He did not win. I watched that fight from round 1 to round excuse me, 12. And he did not win this fight. The first 6 rounds. You could argue Jack Cattrall won every single one of them. There was rounds there like the 3rd round. The 6th round. The 10th round specifically for Josh Taylor. Which were close nip and tuck even Steven rounds yes you could give Josh Taylor some of them rounds and he had a point deducted uh, for what Jack Cattrall did in the 10th round but what I saw was Jack Cattrall execute a brilliant game plan he was able to out jab Josh Taylor Josh Taylor looked horrendous he looked awful in this fight I don't know what it was I suspect it could have been a variety of things the live watch along I was doing a lot of people were pointing at Ben Davison I'm someone who does feel Ben Davison gets an unfair amount of criticism, I have to say. I think it's harsh on some occasions, but I think he brings a lot of the criticism on himself by, you know, wanting the attention almost. And I get that. I get where the criticism comes from. But I think that the weight took it out of Josh Taylor. I've never seen him as dry yet, as gone as a way, on a, at a way in as I did for this fight. I think that he definitely underestimated Jack Cattrall. And I think we all fell victim to that, underestimating Jack Cattrall. Because I'd only ever seen him at British level. Done very well at British level, but I'd only ever seen him at British level. I didn't think he'd be able to crack the world stage. Well, he was cracking Josh Taylor's chin with left hands from the first round. His timing looked very good. His judge of distance was very good. He didn't waste any shots. It wasn't a fight of high volume. You know, both guys true. I think both guys didn't even crack 500 punches each, which, especially at 140 pounds, is very rare, you know, because you you'd see them numbers more at heavyweight and cruiser than you would at light, at super lightweight. But he was throwing more, he was landing more, he had a great judge of distance. It was very messy when it got up close. It was very, very messy. But Josh Taylor, the sharp punching, head movement, the rolling in and out, the uppercuts, the body punching, none of that was there. His legs didn't look right. He was down in round eight from a right hook. The body shots went in from Jack Cattrall and he landed a very good right hook. Taylor took a knee, quite rightly, the referee said, knocked down, quite, quite rightly. And the worrying thing I have as well is that at the end of the 11th round, Josh Taylor, as I said, carelessness in its most criminal evidence was at the end of a round, Josh Taylor gave Jack Catter a little kind of a, there you go, mate, shot. And the referee said, well, you just punched him after the bell. One point. And he still won the fight. Now, bear in mind, Jack Catter was winning these rounds. Most of the rounds Jack Catter was winning, you could give him to Jack Catter. He was clearly winning most of the rounds. And the point deductions. He, Josh Taylor lost two points, one for a knockdown, one for a legit, silly, stupid incident. And he still wins the fight. And people, what I want to come to the UK, they, they, and like obviously, Jack Cattrall's not an away fighter in that sense. He's not an American. He's not a Euro European, Eastern European. He's not an Oriental fighter or someone like that who's coming as the away fighter. But he's coming to Josh Taylor's backyard, and not like what Kid Galahad did against Josh Warren, and just try and nick the fight. He actually went in to win this fight, and he won it, and he didn't get the decision. And it's just a, <sighs> oh my God. It just doesn't do boxing any good. In terms of Jack Catch's performance, excellent performance, very good. I was only criticising Jamie Moore the other day with my mate Jamie, Punch Perfect Boxing. He's got a great YouTube channel as well. And he puts on a performance like that, doing a great job. Ben Davison, I, I have to watch this fight back. Maybe in the cold light of day, my opinion will be different. But right now, I feel that Josh, Josh Taylor should have an L. He should move up. 
and Jack Catrow should be undisputed 140 pound champion I said in my uh, stream that this was Josh Taylor William Wallace taking on it was like William Wallace at the Battle of Falkirk taking on Edward the Longshanks the Hammer of the Scots and he got battered but the difference is back then it was just hand to hand combat no judges we had judges the three wise men well they weren't very wise now were they oh mate unbelievable unbelievable um Jack Catcher will be a world champion. He'll pick up one of them titles when Josh Taylor moves up. Josh Taylor's going to want to take a good, long, hard look at himself. He over, I think he overestimated his own ability and he underestimated Jack Catrell. And I think he's dead at the weight. Ben Davison, I do think he's unfairly criticised to him. He is a good trainer. He, like, people, he is a good trainer. Listen to him talk. He knows boxing. He understands he is a good trainer. He's just got an ego. That's all that's wrong with him. And he needs to keep that in check. But this was a robbery. I don't use that term often. This was a robbery. If you don't like it, tough. It's a robbery. People, I'll talk to you.